Hi, how's it going? This is Tim here. I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to show you um, a video update on what we've been doing with this low-cost trainer. You probably have thought that we've gone a bit quiet, but uh, we've been doing a couple of projects. Um, we made some design changes to the trainer. Um, we started using something called Wonderwear, which is uh, a SCADA software, an HMI software. Um, Mike, you don't have Wonderwear up, open up there, do you? I do. You do. We might, I might come over and, and show the people. Um, and then we, we kind of tied in an industrial robot. And um, we're also going to show you how to use the linear actuator. But the first thing I want to show you is um, uh, uh, Professor Schwab here. Uh, he was nagging me saying, look, we need more inputs and outputs on this uh, panel here. And um, he used to have a special breakout box. So, but what we just did is we um, redesigned this laser cut plate, added some switches, and uh, I, I thought we needed to change that angle bracket. Uh, this seems to look a lot better, um, and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, all the files will be on the, the main website, the, um, the Maryland.design LCMT website. The other thing um, we did is uh, I always found uh, this was this. Um, hopper was a real pain to adjust the height of it and we uh, just combined a load of uh, a load of the parts I think it was like one two three parts so we just combined three parts here that's one 3d printed part um, uh, and then you have the hopper there the only downside is you can't see the the skittles being uh, coming out um, will have we actually tested this though and run run stuff through it. Yeah, we have. We have, and is it is it better or the same? It's, it's or worse. No, I mean it's not worse. Um, I would say it's more or less the same. More or less the same. It's just easier just to fabric or to assemble. Really, yeah, is what it, it was. Is, and you know when we, uh, you know, we can uh, change it around fairly easily um, with that. If we have to adjust the height, height is was much just easier. One part. Yeah. And then you know we just. Uh, you know the motor is on an eccentric so we just you know loosen up the motor as needed and lift it up i'm just going to go over here so this uh, yeah this was um we did a training down in florida with this trainer and uh, it was a total pain to adjust the height you know so we have one two three four components we've actually just got rid of we got we've gotten rid of four components and now we just have one um but it's a bigger 3d printed part um and it seems to work well. So um, this, is, this file, all the older files on this file will be up on the website. So um, let's, what about this, Will? Did, did uh, I, we, ha, have we actually, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this design? Do you think this is a, oh, an improvement? Yeah, I like this uh, quite a bit. Now, um, we're still, well, they're still in the process of coding it, but for what we use this one for is we have this switch, you know, we can go into the manual mode where we can just manually control the linear actuator through these push buttons, and we have that when we have this on. Now, the second thing that we've done in, uh, is we've taken this one for continuous uh, operation rather than, uh, normally what we've had up to this point is we cycle through one cup and we stop. And so it's a one and done. When we have this switch in the continuous mode, it'll just keep running automatically Cycling. until cups run out. Yep. And, and it's just easier for, you know, even when you're learning how to program PLCs, you know, you're not really supposed to use the start button as an input. It, 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 it is an input, but it's not really, it starts the system. It's not, you're not, used, you're not supposed to use the start as a, I don't know, I'm not, not explaining it right, but it's, it, it, the start button is, starts the system. The stop button stops the system. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't really use them in the logic. Um, but I think this was a nice improvement. Yeah, and I think uh, everybody thinks that it was a, with the higher angle and bigger platform, it's, it, especially with the angle, it's a lot easier to wire than um, Absolutely, it's yeah. down yeah. at the... Yep. Um, at a more acute angle right. or a sharper angle. So I think it looks better as well. Yeah. Uh, this, would, this would be easy for anyone to change out. Yeah, and the way it comes up, you know, you have it. The other one, it's, it's only about, you know, maybe a quarter inch off of there and it gives more space between the bottom of it. I don't know if we can look at where the bottom of these panels go on the other one, but they're quite a bit lower. A lot lower, that. yeah. I think the aesthetics of it looks a lot better.